Um, hi, and I guess welcome to uh, this next video where I'm going to answer another one of these questions. Um, so uh, this question is, what value did or does self-pacing have for you? So I guess uh, the value that uh, I guess I've found in, you know, being able to take advantage of self-paced learning, um, you know, I've, I think I've been able to take advantage of that in a couple of different places. Uh, Temple had Temple, where I go to school, has some stuff that's uh, that is self-paced. Um, uh, but you know, obviously, the Khan Academy is entirely self-paced. And I think that really the thing that uh, the real value that I kind of got out of the uh, self-paced uh, uh, the the self-paced nature of Khan Academy and the self-paced uh, 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 the way that I could kind of learn at my own, uh, you know, my own stride is that you were really able to take ownership over your own learning. And I think that, you know, you know, in 2007, when I started with this, um, I really felt that this was maybe the first time that I had ever really kind of been able to do this, take, take ownership over my own, over my own, uh, you know, endeavors, or maybe not endeavors necessarily to say, you know, you use something to say, say it's like completely overarching. But I think definitely uh, it was the first time I was able, able to kind of take ownership over my own education. You know, when you're going through high school and middle school and, you know, and even, you know, I guess college to a lesser extent, but, but uh, you know, I think it's still there in college. The there are still lots of expectations and goals that are kind of set for you by external entities, by your professors, by your academic advisor, by the degree program that you're in. And I think that those, you know, it's not like those are, I don't think those are necessarily going away. And I don't think that those are necessarily entirely bad. But I think that when, I think that the fact that I was able to have a self-paced experience, uh, you know, and I think it's really important that I was able to have that self-paced experience in mathematics education really allowed me to take ownership over over my learning. And I think that that ownership directly led to increased enjoyment. I think that that's, you know, and that I think is really kind of the X factor in, you know, the the experience that I was able to enjoy to, you know, have with the Khan Academy. I, you know, I, I, I enjoy going to Temple. I enjoy learning things. I, you know, enjoy playing saxophone, but I don't think I've ever enjoyed, you know, uh, learning, I guess, you know, academic <laughs> concepts or concepts that you would normally associate with, you know, uh, sitting in a classroom or, you know, sitting at a desk doing homework problems. I don't think I've ever enjoyed learning something quite the same way that I enjoyed uh, being able to learn stuff through watching Khan Academy videos. So uh, anyway, I guess that's the answer to what value does self-pacing have for you. Really allowed me to take ownership over my learning, and I think that directly led to me really enjoying that learning and enjoying stuff that, you know, I, you know, frankly wasn't expecting to enjoy. You know, I never really kind of expected to enjoy uh, what I was doing as much as I ended up enjoying it. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. See you in a future video.